Welcome to Faith and Wellness. And together, we continue with this 30-day Eucharistic Revival. St. Joseph, Perpetual Adorer. In the Bible, in Matthew 13, 55, it says, Isn't this the carpenter's son? Isn't his mother's name Mary? And aren't his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Before I... I go on and tell you what St. Joseph, or how St. Joseph, how he was a perpetual adorer. Would you mind subscribing and sharing? Isn't this picture beautiful of Jesus learning the trade of his father, St. Joseph? He gives me so much joy when I see those images. Let's continue. This is what retreat master St. Peter Julian Imar said, a foster father of Jesus, a foster father of Jesus and husband of Mary. Joseph, Joseph ranks among the elite of heaven. On earth, he deserves the same recognition for his mission, which will last as long as the church itself draws everyone within its scope. As adorers, we have a right to a large share of his graces and protection and careful study will show that all his special gifts and graces aim at making him a good adorer from which entry into the world even while still enclosing Mary's womb as in a living ciborium. Jesus singled out Mary and Joseph to be his adorers. Joseph responded royal responded royally he never ceased adoring jesus in her womb and after the child's birth at bethlehem joseph and mary adored him uninterruptedly as he lay before their eyes they represented all mankind at the feet of the christ certain uh, certainly adam and eve were well replaced and Nazareth Joseph's days were filled with work which necessarily took him away at times. From his infant God, during these hours, Mary replaced him. But when evening brought him home again, he would pass the entire night in adoration, never tiring, only too happy, for the chance to contemplate the hidden riches of Jesus' divinity. For he pierced the rough garments of child were until his faith touched the sacred heart. In profound adoration, he united himself to the special grace of each one of the events in the life of Jesus. He adored our Lord in his hidden life and in his passion and death. He adored in advance the Eucharistic Christ in his tabernacles, where it was nothing that our Lord could hide from St. Joseph. Among the graces which Jesus gave to his foster father, and, the fl and he flooded him with the graces attached to every one of his mysteries. In that special grace given to an adorer of the Blessed Sacrament, that is the one we must ask of St. Joseph, have confidence, strong confidence in him, take him as a patron of the model of your life of adoration. Reflection. Jesus singled out Mary and Joseph to be his adorers. They represent all the mankind's, all of mankind's, let me reread that please. They represent all of mankind at the feet of Christ. Saint Joseph is the patron and the model of your life of adoration. Saint Joseph was a perpetual adorer of Jesus. He first adored him, hidden behind the immaculate veil of Mary's holy womb. Next, he adored Jesus in the cave of Bethlehem, the world's first Republic Adoration Chapel, when St. Joseph was commanded by the angel to flee from Herod and take his wife and son to Egypt. He adored Jesus in pagan territory when the Holy Family returned to Nazareth after being in Egypt for many years. St. Joseph daily adored Jesus for decades, whether on family outings to Jerusalem, visitations 
to relatives or walking about in the countryside. St. Joseph never sees adoring Jesus. He is the perpetual and model of adorer. In a certain sense, St. Joseph is the founder of adoration chapels wherever he traveled with his wife and son. His paternal leadership transformed the home into an adoration chapel. He is the first to conduct a procession with the body and blood of Christ which he fled to Egypt with his infant son. He is also the model of nocturnal adorers, that is, those who adore our Lord during the night. In all these things, St. Joseph offers us a superb model of how to adore Jesus. What makes St. Joseph our model of adoration is his great faith. His faith pierces the veil of heaven and beheld mysteries beyond human comprehension on a daily basis. One mystery must have been revealed to him as he adored Jesus asleep at his feet at the family table and at Jesus and as Jesus received a thousand kisses from his immaculate mother. Saint Joseph's adoration of Jesus must have borne tremendous fruit and flooded his chaste heart with indescribable graces. These graces were not for him alone, but for all his spiritual children, because St. Joseph is our spiritual father. Is he not worthy of our imitation? St. Joseph provides for us a most worthy model of how to live in perpetual adoration of Jesus. Undoubtedly, St. Joseph reached the heights of union with God because of his adoration of Jesus. This mystical union with God is not reserved for Mary, St. Joseph, monks and nuns, but all the people who cooperate with grace. Imitate St. Joseph and be his faithful spiritual child, and you too will be capable of imitating union with God. Place yourself daily at the feet of Jesus and adore him. Before the sun, we become tan. But before the Eucharist, Jesus, we become holy. This is what Blessed Carlos, uh, Carlo Acutis said. Reflection questions. Number one, when was the last time you invoked St. Joseph to help you increase your love for the Eucharist? Number two, how can St. Joseph teach you to become a better adorer of Christ? Number three, What graces can you ask St. Joseph to give you that will help you be more like him? Resolution Today pray to St. Joseph and ask him to give you the grace to live a life of perpetual adoration of our Lord. Request that your heart become more like his most chaste heart, especially his love for the hidden Jesus. Well, now let's pray. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, my Eucharistic Lord, I thank you for all the graces you have poured out in the Holy Eucharist. Thank you for, the, for your virginal Father, St. Joseph, who after Mary loved you more than any, anyone on earth. Our Lady of the Blessed, of the Most Blessed Sacrament, help me to be more like St. Joseph and adore Jesus at all times. St. Joseph, draw me closer to the Blessed Sacrament, instruct me in the mysteries of Christ, and help me to be like you, a perpetual adorer of Jesus. St. Peter Julian Imar, Apostle of the Eucharist, fill me with your Eucharistic zeal so that I might love the Blessed Sacrament above all things. And together, we pray the litany of the most precious blood of Jesus. Together, we'll pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. And you say, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our Father of heaven, you say, have mercy on us from now on. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, one God, blood of Christ, only Son of the Father, you say, be our salvation. 
blood of Christ, incarnate word of God, blood of Christ of the new and eternal covenant, blood of Christ that spilled to the ground, blood of Christ that flowed at the scorching, blood of Christ dripping from the, th the thorns, be our salvation. Blood of Christ shed on the cross, blood of Christ, the price of our redemption, blood of Christ, our only claim to pardon, blood of Christ, our blessing cup, blood of Christ in which we are washed, blood of Christ, torrent of mercy, blood of Christ that overcomes evil, blood of Christ, strength of the martyrs, blood of Christ, endurance of saints, blood of Christ that makes the barren fruitful, blood of Christ, protection of the threatened, blood of Christ, comfort of the weary, blood of Christ, solace of the mourner, blood of Christ, hope of the repentant, blood of Christ, consolation of the dying, blood of Christ, our peace and refreshment, blood of Christ, our pledge of life, Blood of Christ by which we pass to glory. Blood of Christ most worthy of honor. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lord, you redeem us by your blood. You have made You have made us a kingdom to serve our God. Let us pray, O oh God, who by the precious blood of your only begotten Son have redeemed the whole world. Preserve us in the work of your mercy, so that ever honoring the mystery of our salvation, we may merit to obtain its fruits through Christ our Lord. Amen. And I can't wait to share with you tomorrow, day number 23. Three. And we will talk about St. Joseph a little more. We'll talk about St. Joseph, the poor adorer, and what that means. Well, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much, so much for sharing. And please keep me and my family in your prayers. May the Lord bless you and those who you love. And remember... Adore Jesus at all times like St. Joseph. And in the description box, I will leave a link of a book uh, by Father Donald Colloway too. And it's um, Consecration to St. Joseph. May the Lord bless you and keep on enjoying the Eucharist.